fashion hauls along with some beauty and life things so if any of that is right up your alley then please feel free to subscribe and as always if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one if you like this video and you like what you see then please feel free to give this video a thumbs up that really helps to boost me in the YouTube algorithm so today I'm talking about summer to fall transition outfits as much as we may not want to believe it fall is definitely upon us Personally, for me, fall is definitely my favorite season to dress. I mean, the looks are served on a gold platter, and I am so ready. But until we fully get there, I want to share with y'all how you can take your summer pieces and transition it into fall because I am all about your cost per wear. You got to make sure that you're getting your money's worth, especially if you're investing into pieces that can seem like it's only meant for one season. I want to show you that you can definitely wear it for multiple. I'm talking about your linen pants, your mini skirts, your mini dresses. So if you would like to see me put together five summer to fall transitional outfits, then just continue watching. Linen pants, definitely a spring summer staple. I've said this many, many of times and I've styled these in different ways for summer. And then so is a white crop top, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I mentioned this in one of my most recent videos about where you can find like really good basics. And this one from Aritzia, honestly, game changer. I love this top so much. But, you know, while this is very like nice and chill for summer, cause it definitely is, very lightweight. I feel like a way you can transition it easily into the fall is to just add a white overshirt or a white button up over it. So I'm gonna take my white button up cause y'all know I love me a good white button up. A white button up is such a staple in your closet because it can be worn in so many different ways. And this way I'm wearing it just open like this, not buttoned up, just kind of like a little peekaboo. And if you know, if you're familiar with like the fashion, things that are going on with celebrities you'll know that this is sort of a look that's very much inspired by kendall jenner she had a look like this where it was very 90s i think she had a black belt with it and it was more so like a t-shirt and then she had like a white button up over it very nice honestly i love the look so this is my take on it for fall so as you can see as instantly as i put this on i feel like it sort of brings the look down for a more cooler temperature without it it's definitely giving more like sashaying you know on a boardwalk or something but once you put the shirt over it it makes it makes a little difference but i'm still going to keep things you know transitionary with my favorite mango sandals i love these mango sandals i talk about them all the time so this will still help it look a bit more you know kind of like in that in between and then I'm going to get my gucci bag love it so you can wear it as a top handle but i'm actually going to wear this as a crossbody for this look or i guess just as like a regular purse because i do feel like this way makes it feel a bit more fall i don't know why but it does and there we go that is how you can transition a pair of linen pants and a white crop top into a more fall appropriate look just with a few items literally like one or two crossbody definitely gives me more fall vibes versus like top handle i still love a good top handle but that does not mean you cannot wear a top handle but i think that the crossbody just kind of it's giving fall. And of course, if you have sunglasses, you can always put those on. A more fall vibe, I would say, would be these from Desi. Yeah. Yes. Very much fall. Yeah. This is one way you can transition one of your spring, summer pieces into fall. Next, we have this scarf top and i feel like scarf tops have honestly been pretty much on trend since last year but technically since we weren't really outside last year i think they just kind of continue on through this year and i really do like a good scarf top this one has a pretty open back it just ties in the back as so and then it has some pretty thin straps and then it kind of has this like triangle shape love it the way i am making the transition into fall is to pair it with a fall bottom now usually I will probably go for the summer, I will probably go for like a light wash jeans on the bottom or maybe even some shorts or a skirt. But for fall, I am gonna go with these brown vegan leather pants that I got from Aritzia last year. Love these, they still fit very nicely and they are their kind of like famous, infamous Molina pants that went viral on TikTok last year. Still have them, I actually might get the long version because I realize these are the regular and I am a little taller. I am 5'8". So the long version will probably hit me like 
below my ankle which I do kind of like that look but anyway I decided to go for leather pants I do feel like this sort of cools it down just a bit the top does have like this brown detailing although the brown does not necessarily match the brown in this top I do think that this brown cognac color does complement the top very nicely and then on top of that I am gonna go in with a blazer and this one is from H&M and it is white but I do think that white can very much transition into the fall and winter months very easily so as soon as I pop that on it definitely changes up the look you know again we were given arms given shoulder now we're kind of given almost like it's not business casual I mean you're not wearing this to the office but it's definitely given you know like you know what you're doing but also again it cools it down just a bit and then to add on top of that I'm actually gonna pair it with a pair of black sandals so I'm just taking these ones that are easy to slip on you can pair with any black sandals you want to and here we go the reason why I went with black is mainly because black sort of just cools down the look even more I have the option of going with like a cream color sandal to kind of tie in the whole look but I do still feel like it was kind of leaning very kind of spring springish so I think black definitely adds that element of fall into it and then just to make sure that the black is not oddly standing out as it is here I'm just going to take a black bag and this one is from Princess Polly one of my favorites and there you go now you have the black tying in with the black sandals you have the white and the white in the top tying in you kind of have this brown and the brown in the pants tying in it's not super matchy matchy but i do think that it gives off a nice vibe and that is how you can take your scarf top from spring and summer into the fall okay so baby doll dresses are just it very comfortable very flowy this one is pretty short if i'm wearing it in the summer I don't mind because, you know, legs out. But in the fall, transitioning into fall, wearing it with a pair of sandals might be a little ooh in case the wind just decides to go ooh. So I always like to pair dresses like this with boots and it does just make a really nice look. So I'm actually gonna take my leg boots that I got from Zara last year and I really had to dust these off y'all because they've just been sitting in the closet because I haven't had to wear them. There you go. I feel like as soon as you put the boots on, it instantly makes this look way more fall. I mean, because the boots are longer and kind of go up almost to my knee, you see way less skin, so it doesn't feel so short as it actually is, and that is the illusion, that is the trick. Go with a pair of taller boots. You can go with ankle boots, you can do whatever you want, but when I'm wearing really short dresses like this, I do prefer to go for a longer boot, just my preference and I think it just makes it a little bit more flattering. But we're not gonna stop there. I'm gonna take this green bag. And I know it's like green, but here's the thing. I'm realizing that an all black look with a pop of color really does work. And this green is most definitely on trend for the fall. I've been seeing it everywhere, everywhere. So you heard it here first, or maybe you didn't. But this true green is on trend for fall. And so I feel like pairing it like this just makes it look still kind of, you know, gives you that pop of color that you would want in the summer, but toned down fall look. I really like this. I really like this a lot. This is really cute. I had a variation of this outfit that I wore last year, actually, with another pair of boots and a black bag. And I'll put the picture here. Really cute. Really cute. It's pretty much giving the same vibe, but you know. I just remixed it a little bit and I love when I can you know repeat outfits there's nothing wrong with repeating the look okay if it works then it works but yes this is how you can transition a short mini dress for fall depending on the style of dress this can even work for tighter dresses if you have them they can definitely work for you know even more loose dresses but yeah if you have a tighter dress again wearing you know more taller boots will definitely kind of give that fall vibe Next, we have this linen skirt and this black tank. I've talked about this black tank in plenty of other videos. And then this linen skirt from Aritzia has also been worn a few times and is definitely one of my favorites in my closet. It's very comfortable, very relaxed. But I mean, this alone can be a look for sure. I have actually worn this as a look, just like I think I did it to go run some errands and go do my nails. So as a look, it definitely works. But to transition it into fall we're just kind of grunge it up a little bit just a little bit 
So I'm going in with this leather, or this is not real leather, but this faux leather coat. This is an old, old, old from the Who What Wear collection at Target, but it's still one of my favorites just because it's a little oversized and it kind of, you know, it's kind of like a balloon effect. And I just feel like it just gives a vibe to every outfit that I pair it with. But you can most definitely go with like a leather motto jacket. I've seen some really nice ones and I think I have my eye, not, I definitely have my eye on one that I'll probably scoop up really soon. I saw that coach and it looks so nice and it just felt so good. But this one is a good alternative. So, you know, if you want something on the cheaper end, this is a good alternative. They probably don't have this in stock anymore, but you can find similar options and I'll definitely leave some similar options for you below. In addition, I'm also going to take these boots from Zara. So these are my trusty, trusty boots. I got these, I think, three years ago now. And honestly, until they wear away, I will be wearing them. And you see, as soon as I put the boots on, it just elevates this look and definitely makes it way more fall appropriate. Now, the skirt is still mini, so I know with the other look, with the dress, I will say that I do like to go with like a longer boot, usually if I'm wearing a mini skirt in the fall. But the exception here is that my top is basically all covered. In that case, the dress, you know, my arms were still exposed. So it's mainly more about balance versus like just showing skin. Here, I do feel very balanced and these ankle boots are just so cute. They work very well with skirts. So, and I know this just because I wear them with skirts a lot, but yeah, overall, really like this combo. I'm just gonna add some accessories. I'll do this beaded bag, old find from Zara. And then my Fendi shades just for, you know, a little pizzazz. And there we have it. This is the look where you can take the black tank and the linen shorts and transition it into fall. I really like this one. Looks really good. I feel very like grungy, but in a good way. I usually fall on the more grungier side when it comes to fall. I don't know what it is. I just like that vibe. I like to just switch it up with my style. But yeah, this is the look. An all white look is very reminiscent of summer. It's just synonymous. So I love this look. I love these pants. I love this crop top. And it's not like stark white. It's more so on like the cream side, which is my preferred when it comes to wearing all white looks. But overall, I really just like this combo. But I'm gonna follow it up easily by just pairing it with a blazer. And blush is still one of the colors that makes my heart flutter even though I've been definitely expanding my palette. There was a point in time where I only wore blush and white. <laughs> Growth. But as soon as I put this blazer on, kind of see how it just changes up the look just a bit. So yes, I feel like if you are really attached to, you know, still wearing your white throughout the year, which most of us are, including myself, then you can easily just add soft tone blazer to it. And what I really like about this blazer is that it is pinstripe, but the pinstripes are this cream color. And so it just ties in the whole cream in this entire look. And for my shoes, I am wearing my cream Zara sandals that I featured in a Zara haul. I'll link it over here, or over here, one of these. But yes, love these. And I feel like this look just feels very feminine very feminine, but still kind of, you know, a good transition piece because this is pretty cropped. I think this is like a perfect transition outfit. And I am going to take my Gucci once again. And I know I said that I really like crossbody, but I think for this look, because it's still kind of giving me summer just a bit, I think that the top handle works for this. And then this is also screaming for some sunglasses. It's screaming. So I'm gonna take my Ray-Bans, my gold rim Ray-Bans to compliment the gold here on the Gucci. And there we go, here is the look. A nice little transition into fall. You still look, you know, like you're enjoying your summer season, but that you're ready for the temperature just to drop just a little bit. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you found it helpful. Let me know down in the comments below which look is your favorite. And as always, I will catch y'all in my next one. Until next time, bye.